Welcome to Kerbal Space Program, and welcome back to Contract Pack, giving a craft a purpose. This episode, we are going to be tackling the Build and Fly Your First Airplane contract. This contract requires you to have researched a, or acquired uh, through the prototype marketplace, um, either or, um, a... Uh, an air intake, or uh, yeah, basically an air intake. You'd also need to have uh, a wing, uh, and also an elevon or flight control uh, piece of tech. Um, other mods that provide airplane flight parts should be rec recognized. But those three items are a must-have in order to unlock the build a flight first airplane contract. Thanks to organization's research efforts, we have finally developed an air-breathing engine. That should be light enough to mount to a glider, which we made in the previous episode. So it should make controlled powered air flight possible. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, it advances us only 2,000, gives us 10 when we're done. But it does give us a ton of science, and even more so, it gives us an entire star worth of experience points. Um, so we're going to go and accept that contract, and let's go see what we've got built in our space plane hangar. Alright, there we go. Now, I did uh, do a lot of testing with this, especially with my four-year-old daughter, who absolutely insisted we record an episode, which I did. <laughs> it just took a long time. and. I don't think we ever landed it successfully, so this will be hopefully the first recording of me actually landing this thing, so we'll see. Uh, at least landing it successfully without breaking anything. Uh, these are uh, Airplane Plus parts, uh, the engines, uh, tweak scaled, uh, using the tweak scale mod and reducing its thrust accordingly. Dumped all the oxides that are out of the tank there. And this comes in two parts under the 30 part limit of the default space plate hanger. So, and this is Kerbal Space Program 151. And we've got Valentina already with our first star. Um, it's a like guy that canceled the contract. <laughs> um, the previous recording didn't go so well. But no worries. Um, at least I'll show you how this thing works. And she is definitely a joy to fly. Uh, the plane is what I'm talking about, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be be a blast here. Valentina is in it for the ride, so we are going to you can activate her camera. This is provided by Holcam VDS, which is able to see through the eyes of the Kerbal like this, and we are just gonna turn on those propellers. And put up a contract and see what we need to do. We need to get airborne, land and stop anywhere safely. We're going to try and attempt a landing on this very bumpy default runway. So let's go ahead and back here. And we're going to pull up. And we're off. Very first powered flight, <laughs> and Valentina's loving it. Ooh, yeah. I love these ultralight type aircraft. I'd definitely like to see what you guys can come up with. Feel free to post it in the forum post for, for Gap. I can see your creations. But uh, this craft is an absolute joy to fly. 
put Sass back on there. And let's see if we can land it without destroying the airplane or any of its wheels or whatever, so. some speed off here. Oh, those wheels. Ah! Did we kill it? We killed it, and oh, we got the contract. Perfect. We checked it just fine. No broken wing parts, just the wheel. Not bad. It works. And there you have it. Let's go and turn these engines off. Well, Tina, you did a good job on that one. Sweet. That's about the closest I'm going to get for this particular landing. Trust me. <laughs> and we'll go recover that and see what rewards we did get here. Should have run 10 science. Again, this is kind of a repeat contract, so some of this is not going to show up here, but. We got our parts back. 4,000 recovered. So, um, she's already got that like, reputation from before, or the experience. So, but um, here we go. We've got the re completion rewards right here stated. And uh, congratulations, the flight was a success. And I wish you a success in your flights. Feel free to share, as I said on the forum. I definitely would love to see. Uh, what you guys can uh, have come up with. Um, until next time, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, have fun.